wary of using candles and expensive generators, a nun in Miti, a town in the Democratic Republic of Congo, has built a hydroelectric power plant that supplies constant electricity to the convents, schools, and hospitals in our town. Let us meet Alphonsine Caesar, the real-life warrior nun. Meet Sister Alfonsina Caesar. Clad in her white veil, tucked under a builder's hat, she spends most of her day manning a micro hydroelectric plant she built to overcome daily electricity cuts in her hometown of Miti, in Democratic Republic of Congo. The convent needed an electrician, a technician who could help. They saw in me the talent of electrical engineering, so they offered me an opportunity to go study electrical engineering. That's where it all started. It was the convent that made me study. I studied at ITFM, and when I finished, I started this service. Blackouts are a daily disruption across the country, which sources most of its electricity from a run-down and mismanaged hydropower system. Despite millions of dollars in donor funding, the World Bank estimates that only around 20% of the population has access to electricity. Fed up with relying on candlelight and costly fuel-powered generators, Caesar started raising money in 2015 to build the hydropower plant. Thanks to her efforts, students can now learn computer skills from screens rather than books. With the current we produce for the school, we believe that we are training young people. And with the current that we give to the hospital, we feel that we serve the whole population because we are there for the poor. And it is in the hospital that we meet people from the poor backgrounds. Without the plant, residents in Michigan would only have electricity two or three days a week for a few hours. 